Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Minecraft. How you guys doing? What have you been up to? What's the good word? We are hanging out here in our swamp right outside the Alchemy Labs. Um, last episode we showed you some of the work we did to the uh, outside of the labs. I added a little moat here because I found while I'm working down below... These little annoying slime fellas, they like to follow me. And when they follow me, they're dumb, and they go in there. Well, I cannot stand that constant, you know, them jumping up and down. So I figured, why not make a little trap to uh, to kill some of these suckers. So that's exactly what I did. little three deep on there, and up, oh, look. I mean, if we really wanted to, we could probably line this with hoppers and just have slime balls for days. So anyway, here's our uh, our melon farm, and it's uh, it's cooking away. Look at that, doing actually pretty well. I didn't expect to find that much in here. I haven't been on as much as I would like to be. I've actually been over on the uh, feed the beast side uh, working on some things that we'll be uh, we'll be going over real soon in in, in next episode but uh, let me uh, real quick let me shoot this guy okay now let me show you what we did down here before we get into the meat and potatoes of the episode so this was kind of unfinished and so I thought I would take some time and finish it and uh, I just added some cobble and brick we're in a cave, and I thought it'd be cool if we did some natural lighting, so, uh, why not do some fire, but, uh, we got a problem here, guys, there's a, uh, another brick wall here in the way, and I see some pressure pads, so, what do you think? It looks pretty cool, right? Um, I wanted a 3x3 three three door, but unfortunately, I can't take credit for the redstone work it was pretty intricate and uh, this specific spiral in and out Let's see how it had spirals in and around this way uh, counterclockwise how it spirals I can't take credit for that work um, mumbo jumbo I believe is his, his YouTube uh, channel name I'll throw the link in the description so you guys can check out his tutorial. Some good stuff over on his channel, so I want to thank him um, for putting that up there for us to use. Uh, but uh, things are starting to come along down here. Uh, I'm contemplating just cutting this off. Uh, we don't really have anything over it. Well, we've got our nether rack or our, our nether wart. We need to make a nether wart farm, and this is just basically the stairway to nowhere. Because we closed off that exit, the main uh, entrance now is through the oh, is through the alchemy labs up there. So uh, this is our main walkway right through. We put two buttons depending on where we're coming from. We want to be able to have easy access to get through. So that's that. Uh, let's get to our chain or our project for today. Now, um, since we're looking at building a base here. Uh, or having a, a central operations here, we need to have a mine uh, pretty close for some good resources. So I went ahead and I prettied up our path here and uh, sent it all the way down too. Okay, you may ask me what is at the bottom of this path. Well, I am going to show you. I cleared out a whole bunch of cobble, and we're going to make a branch mine right down here at the bottom. Now this what this is uh, the abandoned. Uh, or an abandoned mine shaft that we found. So we're gonna we're gonna be running across it when we branch, but there's still gonna be plenty of goodies to be found. Case in point, right there, guys. I just did that by digging out our central hole. Now this is obviously gonna keep going a lot further, but uh, here's the first idea. I want to have these support beams across the top, and I'm thinking logs as of right now. Uh, this last one's probably my least favorite with the wood, but I like using these fence posts, or these uh, cobblestone walls, too, so 
I did a couple different things with some fence posts, just some solid beams, cobble, or uh, the cobble fences and the wood. I don't know. I'm still sort of up in the air as to what we're going to go with. But uh, you see these odd wood blocks. That's going to be our entry points. We're going to have um, two on each one. So then there'll be one here, one here, one here, and one there. Okay, and it's going to be every pillar. There's going to be two openings, two spaces between this one and three. Hopefully we don't miss any blocks, and we shouldn't the way that most veins are designed, or that most veins run in the game. We shouldn't be missing any. So uh, that is good. So anyway, we're going to have, obviously, a branch mine, but I want to do something different. I want to do it... Uh, uh, with a little bit of automation behind it, okay? And what I mean by that, guys, is I would like to have a train track, and I just realized that I put those torches right down the middle where I want my train track to run. Uh, I want to have a rail that goes up that I can send uh, chest carts up to the top with my goodies in it so I can keep mining. Uh, this isn't Feed the Beast, so we don't have those wonderful pouches that we can just put our goods in. I think if you guys are familiar with that mod, one of, or with that mod pack, one of the uh, mods within it, and I, offhand I can't remember which one it is, has these pouches that you can carry that are specific to items. One's called a, a miner's pack, one's called a digger's pack, and they allow you to carry extra items in your inventory. They're They're fabulous. But, since this is vanilla, and we love vanilla, but since it is, we don't have those available. So, what's the next best thing? Uh, if you guys know, 1.6 first snapshots have been released, uh, and horses are in that, along with horses are donkeys, and rumor has it that the donkeys will allow... Um, packs to be on them. We don't have them yet though. So, what do we need? We need to figure out a way to do it with good old mine carts, chest mine carts. Okay? So, my thoughts are this. We're going to have carts here. We're going to have powered rails. We're going to have our openings. And this is going to run both ways, by the way. It's going to be on both sides if I didn't if I neglected to mention that, we're going to have both sides. Like that. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is this. We have our track run down the middle. If I'm mining down this one and my inventory gets full, I want to be able to come out to here. And I don't know if I should push a button and it should send one down or before I come down if I should bring one down with me um, and when I'm down here then I can uh, drop everything off in it send it back on its merry way up top and then get back right into mining and when this gets sent off then it'll get sent up to a station where it deposits what I've mined and it, it will be in processing the ores and maybe even cobble into smooth stone if I want. Um, and coal will be placed in the furnaces. And I've gone ahead and I've cleared out an area over here that I think will be good for this type of processing. Okay. So the goal is, like I said, we're going to have this train track come up here. Um, not exactly sure yet. Maybe go up a little bit further. It may it may come up. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll have it go straight back in and have the, all the processing back here. Maybe do clear this out a little bit more. Have a glass wall. A uh, lot of ideas bouncing around in my head right now. This is today's project, guys. We're gonna start it. Uh, this mine shaft is actually gonna be a big deal. There's going to be a lot of work involved with it, so it's not going to be something that we're going to finish in one episode. But uh, I do want to start it today, guys. So buckle up and uh,
All right, so that's going to be our track down. You know what? I'm not going to bore you guys with me setting them up with the uh, powered tracks and everything. So uh, I'm actually going to cut away and get a little bit of work done here as to uh, how we want to lay this out. I think it'll help things move along in, in this video if I do a good bit of this work off camera and then we just talk about it, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get to work, and I will meet you guys back in a couple minutes. For you guys, a couple seconds. Alrighty guys, so we've been hard at work here down prettying up the branch mine. Um, we got our grass down and or our dirt down. We're trying to extend our grass down the uh, the old pathway here. We haven't made a, a decision yet. I think I may actually wait and see what you guys say in the comments about uh, the actual designs down here in the branch mine. I'm not uh, too concerned with it right now. Looking at it now, I'm actually kind of leaning towards this. But, uh, and then doing some sort of design up here possibly. Uh, with support beams, maybe doing the logs this way as well. I don't know. There, there's lots of, lots of time to just figure out what we want to do with there. We've got stairs down both sides now with the nether rack. Uh, grass all the way up the middle. Our rail in the middle is powered all the way up and works. And uh, so let's get down to business now. We've started with a little uh, entry way here. I'm thinking about doing something like this, possibly, oh, possibly for our uh, cart system. Our, our carts are going to come up here and unload on this hopper. Uh, then that hopper will move over here, and it will feed into our dropper elevator that we have going on right here. This is really simple. It's actually a lot of the stuff I'm showing you right now guys is really similar to what we did with the mob uh, drop items sorting system. Same concepts re concepts really. The dropper elevator is the same and our sorting over here is the same. Uh, basically we use a comparator on the bottom dropper invert the signal with the torch. Um, this torch is locking our item hopper clock. See, there's just one piece of redstone that'll go back and forth. Every time it's in this one, you'll, send, you'll see a signal in this comparator that will get passed through these two repeaters to this block, and that uh, sends the signals alternating up the droppers. That's going to then shoot the item out, and I need to, uh, we're going to start doing some work as I finish explaining the rest of this stuff. Um, Item is gonna perfect. Item's gonna get shot out of the dropper this way. We're gonna have a waterway that comes through and down here. It's gonna bend right here, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should be perfect. Um, that waterway is going to pass the items, and we've got hoppers set up for the three things that we can smelt while, while mining. We've got our gold hopper, our iron hopper, and our cobble hopper. Okay, now this one I'm not positive about because we may want to or we may not want to um, have every piece of cobble that we... Uh, that we harvest get uh, smelted l largely because um, we're digging tunnels. So there's going to be tons of cobble coming out of there. So that might be one that we reconsider. I don't know. Uh, I haven't put a block here because I'm considering doing something with coal. Let me show you the rest of the sorting system if you guys aren't familiar with this method. Um, you have the 18 and one item in each, all, all those. That blocks the hopper from anything but gold coming through. Uh, the comparator has a signal because there's something in it. That signal's passed to here and to here, which uh, one more item would pass it to here, which would send the signal through the repeater into this block turning off the torch and allowing items to flow through. Okay, right now that this hopper is locked, which will not allow anything else from the top sorting hopper to be passed down through. Uh, the only other thing that you have to concern yourself with when doing a design like this is this hopper here uh, needs to not connect to this bottom one. 
and then all we're doing is passing this forward one to these and that item is then feeding down into the top of the furnace. Uh, the top is for the item that will be smelted uh, to feed into the bottom. You could go into any side and then the bottom as you see here is this spot anything that is smelted. So first thing I want to do is set up some chest thinking which one was cobble I think this one was cobble yeah this one's definitely gonna need a double chest uh, you know I did this the wrong way I think I want them to open this way this one's definitely gonna need the double chest this one's definitely gonna need the double chest hopefully because <laughs> this is gonna be our well redstone and lapis alone we'll need the double chest here diamonds as well dirt if we get any dirt so that that double chest will also be needed and then I'm thinking for the sake of looks that we're just gonna do um, we'll do double chest the whole way so we'll do double chest here and we actually need to make uh, two more chest so let's go ahead and get that done one, two. Okay. So there we have it. And uh, these items that are smelted then with our coal. And I don't have anything that would smelt. I got a little bit of cobble. Let's throw a bit of cobble in. Where did my coal go? Let's put coal into this one. Oh, into this one and throw in just a couple pieces just so you guys can see cobble come down to smooth stone that quickly it's in the chest so that's what we've got going so far guys actually um, this will give us a chance to work out something else that I wanted to work on um, which is the cart return system. Now, I don't think they've changed the cart mechanics too much, but there's something that I want to test out first. Um, prior, uh, whenever you wanted to send a cart on a powered rail, well, first thing, it, it would come down and it would stop. Okay. So if you wanted to send this moving on the powered rail, you would have there would have to be a block behind it to give it propulsion. So if we just flick this switch, okay. So that's still the same where it needs something like that. So we've got these great angles here. Let me see if this works. I don't know if it will. Oh, it does. So that may be all that we need to do. Oh. Get back down there. See, I think I can just leave this at each interval like that. And go, okay. Well, actually, you know what? We would want some sort of button or a pressure pad. Would be perfect, wouldn't it? We just did one of these guys, and we said, get over there, go, I wonder why that's not making it back up, I wonder, ooh, you know, I didn't test that, I thought I had the intervals close enough, let's, um, oops. I think with the spacing, that right in the middle like that, we're going to want to do every two. So I don't think that's going to change. But we need to test that with a uh, with a uh, chest cart to make sure it's going to make it up. And I don't think we want to test this yet, do we? I don't know, guys. I'm nervous. This isn't set up yet. Uh, we need to get a little bit more coal and check that out, and then we'll test this out and see if this works. Um, so the stairs are for going up. This is for going down. Or the cart. We can take the cart either way. But And it's every two, right, that I did this. 
Yeah. That should be good. Hmm. Let's try the chess cart and see. If not, we're going to have to make some more... That looked like that made it. It did. Okay. So I guess just the empty cart doesn't have the weight to make it up. But that does. Okay, perfect. So we need to figure out this still. Uh, we don't need to test this yet. And well, I guess we sort of figured this out. I like this idea, though. We, and we'll just do... Hell, we, we'll even do it like guess. We'll do... We'll do a pressure pad on all sides of it. Like that. Now, because then we need some way to permanently lock it, too. Um, like if we're done mining here, then we want this to stay on. So we may have to do just a lever for the time being. Does a lever being powered on doesn't look horrible, right? And we'll just, well, we might as well bust those up. I wonder if we like that. I think that's too dark for down here. I think we want to stick with the natural sort of... So, bunk, bunk, and this, and these two, bunk, bunk, dunk, dunk. yeah, because then that way, yeah, I like that better, and, then, and so, if we're, if we're done with this, then we know we can leave this section off. But let's say we want to mine these ones. We just turn it off, and then when the cart comes back, it'll stop right there. And that'll be perfect. Here on the wall. We need to test this out. We're probably going to end up scrapping the coal idea, though, just because I th don't think it'll work. I think that the amount of coal you would need for it to work would just be insane. So. Right, and a little bit more here. And we'll fill this in later. So, 29 more. That should be good enough. Let's pop it in here. Do we still have our cobble? Yeah, okay. That's not going to be enough. You know what, guys? Let me cut and get us an abundancy more of coal and see what happens when this gets full. I'm thinking that it's probably just going to stop. But, uh, yeah, let me grab some coal and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got more than enough coal to finish testing this out. Let's go ahead and dump in this stack, and this should give us the idea of what we need. And I think I figured out what the difference is. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Yeah, okay. So first problem... <laughs> is yeah it didn't it, it didn't do what we needed it to but solution i think i got it guys so if we leave the system like so uh but the, these going into there what we need is basically the same system that we had before but we need to make sure that we're not pointing at any other hopper Okay, so let's do it like this. I'm not exactly sure. Actually, this should work. Let's see. Wait. We need the cobble. Actually, we could use smooth stone too, I suppose. All right. So if we do it like... Well, actually, no, they just need to be facing each other. I'm out. Oh, no. We need two more. One. 
Oh, man. All right, guys. Last test. Let's see if the automated coal system is going to work or not. So we just dumped a whole bunch of coal in here. Let's see what happens to it, okay? So it's coming across this one. It's coming down here. We're filling up our first furnace. Okay. Let's see. Cross your fingers, guys. I think this is going to work. First furnace is full. Now this hopper is going to fill, and then it should go to the next one. Right? I think. Now this, granted, this takes a lot of coal to achieve this, so it's not ideal. Um, what we would want and what we may end up doing is setting up the comparator system we have on the back side, also on the front side. Uh, this is space limited though. Okay. So this middle furnace should have... Oh, I can't get to it. Ah. I have no way to see... Oh, yeah, I do. If I go around this way, I should be able to get to it. Right? Oh. Yes, it did. All right. So that works, guys. And with that success, I am going to call this an episode. We're running long. Uh, this is a project for certain. This isn't something we're going to accomplish overnight. But the auto smelting process is basically complete. Let's give it a final uh, test just to make sure. And my mind cart's up there. Um, <laughs> shoot. Where'd it go? Minecart. Oh, Lord. Where'd it go? You know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and call it quit. There's my minecart. Where's my chest? Uh, all right. Let's make another chest real quick. Real quick, 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 quick. We don't want to keep you guys too much longer. I do realize that I didn't... Yep. I definitely did not uh, get my waterway set up yet. Let's do that real quick. All right, we've got that. Let's get our test. Um. need some of that coal for this one. Ha! Huh, there's that glass. Okay. And we get our glass here. Let's put this up there. We're going to need this. Okay. Oh, wait. This. Because we need water up there. Firstly, I guess I need that block back. Oh, it's always when you get to the end of the episode and you're ready to test something that everything just sort of goes all haywire. You know what I'm saying, guys? So we are here and we are greatly anticipating this. It's going to go there. That's there. Perfect. And we're just going to have to put some blocks on this side to block it off. Let's use let's use these. Okay. All right. No water should be leaking anywhere. I messed up. Did I get it? Probably not. Okay. And let's. All right. So that's that. Let's give her a test, guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Uh, my fingers are crossed. I really hope this works. <laughs> it should, right? All right, so we just came out of this tunnel. We said, oh, look at all this gold and iron we got. We are loaded up. Time to get back to work. Do, do, do. Okay, now let's go check it out. All right, that's firing. Oh, you know what? We messed up. We messed up, guys. Forgot to set up my comparator in the back um, for the coal. Yeah. So where's everything ended up? Right here. Yep. So it is going to work. I just have to set up one more comparator here for this coal system, and it'll be good to go. But uh, I'm out of time, guys, so I'm going to have to call it quits for the night. Uh, I want to thank everybody once again for watching and contributing to the videos. I appreciate all the support I've been getting with comments and likes on the videos. We're up to 220 subs, which is huge for me, part-time YouTuber. So I want to thank all you guys so much for everything you've been doing for, for support. And uh, just keep doing it, guys. If you keep showing your love, I'm going to keep making the videos. So for Scrotitis, this has been another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And I will check you guys all in the next episode. So we will see ya.